In a Facebook post on Wednesday, ex-UK Hong Kong consulate worker Simon Chang says he took part in the city's protests but did not break any laws. Chang says he approached protesters on Telegram and other social media as part of his job to evaluate travel alerts and protect British citizens. He was returning from a business trip in August in Shenzhen when police arrested him on the Chinese side of the West Hong Kong Kowloon Railway Station. According to Chang, he was then handed over to State Security Bureau officials and detained in Shenzhen. Chang says he was buckled to a tiger chair and rendered immobile during his initial interrogation, which lasted for hours. He says officers took blood and urine samples and confiscated his glasses and cell phone. Cheng says he was repeatedly tortured. He says officers would hang him on a steep X cross while he was handcuffed, shackled, and blindfolded. This stress position causes extreme pain. The interrogators forced him to perform exercises such as squatting while he was still blindfolded and restrained by cuffs and shackles. If he fell from exhaustion, Cheng says the interrogators would beat him with weapons that felt like sharpened batons. Cheng says his captors also prevented sleep by making him stand still while under restraints for hours at a time. If he went under, they would force him to sing the Chinese national anthem. Cheng says that the secret police forbade him from telling prison doctors that the bruises and wounds on his limbs were the result of torture. He says they stopped applying physical torture after one week when he became too weak to walk. Cheng says he ultimately agreed to a filmed confession at the detention center under duress. He says he was released after falsely confessing to soliciting prostitution and betraying the motherland.